It's March 29th, 2009, and this is the Dumb Down Life Formula One coverage for the Australian Grand Prix. Bernie, a quick word, who's going to win the race? This one here. Yeah, you're just saying that because he's standing there. I never thought of you as a... I'm a politician. <laughs> I'll tell you what, do you want to have some money on him? You know you don't do it from that far back because, you know, he's ruined my race and he probably ruined his a bit. Looking at the news one as opposed to the sprot one, are you? Uh, no, I was, no, I can send you the link, but it'll send it to the wrong machine, won't it? Well, uh, on the left-hand side, I've got Formula 1. Does that not... Okay, go there, then. Place? Well, you should have a... When you get there, you should see a bit that says video, audio, video, text, text, commentary, commentary and, and stats. Right. You actually need to click on the live Australian Grand Prix text. Or just above the rotating photo. Uh, as opposed to the big blue play yeah. button. Yeah. Uh. How stupid is that? Um, and then you end up with a video feed, which is identical to what you're watching on the TV. But probably five seconds out. It is, yeah. Oh, hang on. Live video, TV, and five live. Oh, so, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. If you click on the other one, Exactly the same coverage. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get confusing. <laughs> no, is that Danny Minogue? Yeah. I believe it is. Yeah, isn't he shag? Isn't she shagging button? Really? I think she used to. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, you'd be doing her and thinking of Kylie, wouldn't you? That question did come up on Twitter the other day. Yes. Did it? <laughs> but you would. No, 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 Facebook actually. Facebook. Uh, would it be Kylie? Uh, would it be Kylie or Danny? And somebody replied, "Surely the question would be, would it be to Kylie or Danny first?" <laughs> <laughs> My reply, of course, had to be Kylie. I should be so lucky. So lucky. <laughs> this is so much better than the Formula One's own site. It is, isn't it? Um, I, I went to the Formula One site looking for the final qualifying results, and, and it mu- it must be there somewhere, but I couldn't bloody find it. No. Um, but the BBC site, bang, dead easy to find. And did you hear the start of the the very start of the program? Very good, very yeah. good. But what music were they playing? Well, of course, it was the chain. <laughs> I didn't know they was get, didn't realise that they'd do it. I I was hoping beyond hope that they would, but it's been they fifteen had. odd years since yeah. they did it. Um, and whoever was in charge might have decided, no, no, we need to revamp and change. And no, no, the chain is Formula One. That's, Absolutely, that's as simple as that. The only thing that's missing now is Murray. Yeah, I believe he's around somewhere. I think he's doing sort of after race commentary or something. Yeah, possibly so. Um, but yeah, it, it's Formula One is back to its home. Absolutely. After a fifteen odd year. And of course, fifteen odd years ago, we didn't have the red button interactive technology. No. No. And the the thing that's going to please me more than anything else, regardless of all the technology we've got to to look on with the web and the coverage that the BBC will do, the thing that's going to please me most is no adverts. Yeah, absolutely. We're not going to have the bit where, oh, while you were away, you missed this. Yeah. You missed the most spectacular overtaking manoeuvre in the entire history of Formula One because you were on an advert break. (laughs) Great. Have you got TweetDeck running? I do indeed. Yes, thought so. <laughs> you can hear that. I heard the bing. I ought to put that up myself, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> that, 
some cold curry from last night and Formula One. <laughs> Life doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> there we go. You do get some interesting tweets come up with these um, searches. Mm. Oh, sorry. Ross Tweet. Tom concerned about fourth gear. They're using the same Mercedes engine and gearbox as um, the McLaren. Ooh. Ooh. Where did you see that? Was that a tweet? It's a tweet. Tweet, yes. Tweet. In. Yeah, because Owen Hamilton's uh, having a bit of an issue, isn't he? Well, he was um, put to the back for having to have his gearbox changed, but he's now 18th because Toyota um, are starting from the pits. Because of their... Their um, flexi... Um, Diffuser. No, not the diffuser. It the, wasn't it. I got, I heard the, 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 this is where my t- terminology needs brushing up. The fin on the back. What's, it's not called the fin. What's it called? The the thing on the back. The, the what? The rear wing. The re- is is it the rear wing? I yeah. think it's called something. Oh, yeah. the, the rear wing is too flexible. Oh really? So so I, I thought it, I just assumed it was because of the, the diffuser. No, it's not the diffuser. Oh. Right, I think I've got time to go and make myself a coffee, haven't I? Uh, you have indeed, whereas I have gone with the, the sponsorship for this race, Red Bull. <laughs> Why does it sound like she's singing backwards? I'm here, Is that Australia's national anthem then? Well, I was just about to say, either their national anthem has no melody or they could have picked a better singer. No, I, I, I think the singer was pretty good. Um, just sounds like it has no no sort of rhythm to it. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I've, I've never used Twitter like this. <laughs> We've got there. Who's the woman singing? What is this woman singing? Who's the wailing bird? <laughs> and all kinds of comments about the dress and all sorts of things. Is she famous? No idea. Yeah, those front wings, they look very, very odd. On the brawn? Well, on all of them. They're all sort of very, very flat and very, very wide. The McLaren they... one looked very normal, but the um, the brawn one seems to have all sorts of little additional fins and things on the end as well. On it, yeah, but they just seem so wide, much wider than usual. So um, I'm looking on the live commentary feed from uh, the BBC and it says here that um, just dashed up to the Bridgestone HQ to get some tyre information. Uh, The suggestion is that drivers at the back of the grid would be best advised starting on the super softs to give themselves the best chance of overtaking, while those at the front would be better off doing longer stints on medium compound. Now, you were saying that there's four different types of tyre? Yes. There's hard, medium, soft, and super soft. Mm. Um, and two compounds allowed per race. Right. And I believe it's down to Bridgestone to decide which compounds are used, not the individual not races, the teams. race teams. Yeah. So everybody has the same two compounded tyres for the race. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, I think there's the super softs that they've bought here. I think the, they've bought medium and super soft here. And uh, you can tell which ones they are because the super softs have got a green line around them. I was I was wondering what the uh, the colour scheme was going to be because they, they typically use some sort of band. Do you know I hate that phrase? What's that? To finish first, first you have to finish. No shit, Sherlock. They're saying there about the the fact that it's a later race, um, so the Europeans have got a better chance of, of seeing. The, um, well, this this is the thing, because last year, and I assumed it was going to be this year, I was expecting to have to get up at sort three of o'clock 3 o'clock in the morning. Yep, yep. But they, they've obviously shifted it later by a few hours, so we can get up at something sensible. Actually, that would make sense, because Australia is 12 hours ahead, aren't they? In various different parts, are, yeah. Yeah, um, and we generally do a race here at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, right, between yeah. between one and three o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, yep. so that would make sense. So they've shifted it through to the early evening, which gives us an extra three or four hours. So they're probably kicking off about six o'clock over there, which seems to make a lot more sense to us anyway. Braun, see, I don't know the helmets yet, but one of the no. Braun drivers is. In fact, both the Braun cars are on the mediums. They're at the front, so that pays. Oh, it's better. 
um, obviously pole position. <laughs> um, yeah, they're they're on the mediums. Yeah, and then the, Carl, you, you're just like half a sentence ahead of Brundle there. <laughs> Was it really? Absolutely. You're saying about the green stripe on the tyres, and Brundle's saying the same thing now. <laughs> oh, they're on the parade lap, formation lap, whatever they want to call it. Uh, no, formation. Parade would be after. Parade lap would be at the end, wouldn't it? Oh, all my alarm clocks are going off now. Just tell me it's time to get up. I'm already up. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the uh, the Virgin logo on the front of the Braun. Yeah, but why don't they put them the other way up so that it matches the camera? Do you know, I've always wondered that because they sure, never do. But surely always... it's going to be the television audience that see it far more than anybody else. Well, surely that's who the sponsorship is aimed at more yeah. than the car, the people going around, the, sorry, the spectators on the track because they're not going to see bugger all as they <laughs> 189 exactly. an hour, are they? Yep. I was expecting the car to be um, Ferrari red with a white Virgin logo on it. I wasn't. That would have been funny. That would have been very funny. But um, it, it's a very subtle bit of advertising on there. So uh, Massa's on the soft tyres in the Ferrari? Yep. I think I heard him say so's Kibitza, I think. Sorry, they're not soft, they're super soft. Super soft, yep. You can see by the way the car sort of wobbles left and right like that. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's possibly a bit too soft there. He's wobbling all over the track. That's, that's, that can't be right. <laughs> Doesn't he know that if he goes in a straight line, it's a much shorter distance? Oh, dear. These drivers <laughs> know nothing. You know, it's a debatable point whether the weaving the car like that does actually heat the tyres up. Uh, if it's debatable, there's a lot of people doing it. <laughs> mm. But I think it's one of those, well, everybody else does it. <laughs> I, I seem to recall that being said before by somebody like um, Brundle. Noticing that um, your initials are stamped all over this Grand Prix, dude. LG? Yeah. Excellent. They're not an Australian company, are they? I didn't think so. Now, as I remember, the first corner of this first race tends to be um, a bit of a, a close one, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Do you know, I'm sitting there, I'm, lo- I'm thinking, how can I spot cars? How can I spot cars? I'm looking at the ads on the back of the rear wing. Kind of something. Um, King- Kingfisher. Who the hell's Kingfisher sponsoring? Um... Force India, possibly. <laughs> Kingfisher beer, Indian beer. Almost certainly. Yeah. Duh. Here we go. And they're off. Oh, and somebody stalled on the problem. front. They've lost about six places. Oh, goodness. Buttons through the first corner in front. Yes. Red Bull up in second. Cutting way across the grass. Was that a bit of a spin at the back there as well? I didn't see that. <laughs> Quite a big opening up on there already. Race masses throw up into third. They've not gone back to the first corner, so I can only presume that that was just somebody spinning wide and didn't actually stop anything. Buttons just streaming away. Yep. So where's Barrichello? Down to seventh. Seventh? Yeah. Yeah. Sebastian Vettel uh, second. (laughs) It's amazing when you see how rigid these cars are when they go over the... um... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, nope. Not got, the, not, got, not got the speed. Yeah, when you see these cars go over the bumps at the side and sort of two of the wheels come off the ground because the car's so rigid. Yeah. So the most common name in Formula One is Sebastian. Sebastian, yeah. They've got Sebastian Bordeaux, Sebastian Buemi. Is he, he, he's a new guy, is he? I believe so, yep. And Sebast- Sebastian Vettel. And I think Nick was the second one, wasn't it? I think there's a couple of Nicks in there. Nick's, well, you've got Nico Rosberg. Look um, at the gap that he's brought up already. Nick Heifeld. Yeah, there's two Nicks, yeah. And McLaren. Uh, McLaren. Um, Hamilton. He's gained a place, I think. Oh, oh who's, who's that? that? Who's that with the puncher? Heifeld. Yeah, it's Heidfeld. And that again goes with the rigidity of the car. He's almost driving it as if you know that, that extra wheels doesn't matter. Matter, and, no. Um, what's the one Force the, India coming? One of, the, one of the Force Indies is in as well, isn't it? And another one. Who's that? Who's the, what's the McLaren? It's Kovalainen. Oh, with the front wheel pointing the wrong direction. So he, was, the, that from the, was that from the so first corner? So has Kovalainen hit um, the Force India, which has given the Force India the puncher and knackered Kovalainen's front wheel? Yeah, that that was that first corner that we. It's unusual they don't norm, they normally stay on that first corner to see what's going on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. There, there we go. go. See, I saw that, but they didn't follow it through. Oh dear, what a mess. Cool. Well, that's not going to make him very popular in an Australian Grand Prix to be smacking into Mark Webber, is it? 
<laughs> Lots of expensive nose pieces getting Absolute, replaced already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know about penalty. Again, it's, it's very difficult to sort of portion blame on that, isn't it? But why didn't they stay on that first corner? Oh. So that's one McLaren down already. Already. Oh, dear. Not fixing that. No. Which leaves us Hamilton, who's currently in 12th. Uh, is there like 12 cars left? <laughs> that's well, that's car, possible. <laughs> eight car pile up, and that's put the Hamilton... Um, you know, I'm, not seeing the, uh, I'm not seeing anybody listed as being out on there yet, but... Um, yeah, now Kovalainen is absolutely out. Just wheeling him back into the garage. Yep, now they're showing it as retired on the website. That's 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 cool. good. I like that. Already. Yeah. The top six at the moment are Jensen Button, um, Sebastian Vettel, Felipe Massa, Robert Kubica, uh, Kimi Raikkonen. How many did I say? Top ten? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you're remember. You're about to read through all, I think. I was, yeah. <laughs> And the Toyotas have both managed to come up now. Uh, they're in 14th and 16th. So we've got Braun, Red Bull, Ferrari, BMW and Ferrari. What a mix-up. Yeah. Well, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have put money on Braun and Red Bull being one and two. After one and two, it. no. <laughs> so Barrichello has got small damage to his car then. Yeah, apparently the, the, the collision has added some extra flap. So it's just knocked the, uh, the nose up a little bit. I see it actually, it's hanging down. Oh, yeah. So where are we now? We've got... Um, I just can't believe... Well, I can believe, but the, how technology is all coming together. The Twitter thing is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Button's just set the fastest time in the first sector, but Vettel's uh, knocked two tenths off him the lap time. But he's still... Uh, oh, Force India. Force India coming past? <clears throat> just gone past uh, Hamilton. Hamilton, yeah. Who was that? Well, I would guess it was Fisser Keller. No, it was PK. So it wasn't a Force India. Oh, no, it's a Renault. Sorry. Sorry yeah. yeah, the colouring. Oh, yeah. It looks like Hamilton went to overtake and, and didn't, didn't do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you can tell it's a Renault because it's got Renault on its rear <laughs> wing. <laughs> How did I miss that? I don't know why, but the, I- okay. Okay, the yeah. ING looks very um, Indian. He's, he's just coming down the... He's coming down the inside. Tried to take oh, it on the inside no. and didn't have enough room, did he? No. It's a shame. Do you know the one I would really, really like to have, and there doesn't seem to be it, is the um, a map with a the, a the circuit dots. map with the updated dots, so you can tell what corner they're at, what name of the corner they're at, and where they are on the track. Uh, I've said this before, but I think the the ultimate experience would be to have that kind of data then fed into a Formula One game. Game. Yeah, and you absolutely. can choose which car you want to be in. They've got no worries about um, accidentally showing accidents or whatever because you're not going to see that level of detail. But um, you can then race the entire race in a Sauber if you wanted to. You know, yeah. But it would be nice to have a, a live feed map, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. And if, if they can do this, the live feed text that they're doing on the website, they, they ought to be able to do it. Depends um, whether they're sending the, the GPS data from each of the teams back or not. It wouldn't be difficult, though, would it? Uh, it may not necessarily be a difficult thing. It might be a... Um, Privacy issue. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> they don't necessarily want that they don't kind GPS, of, You don't know where they, we are. They don't want that kind of technical information available to the other teams. What? Where they are on the track? Exactly where they are. Exactly how far behind. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. They can see where they are. They know exactly how far they are behind everything, so all the lap times are posted, aren't they? Click to play. The content doesn't seem to be working. Try again later. I think that they've got a few people watching that. <laughs> what are we going to do? The live on board camera? Um, no, I was just trying to do the five live stream to see what that was showing. It's showing, yeah. But it's, it's um, altered. You've got the on board camera and rolling highlights now. Oh, right. actually, <laughs> I just noticed I have a red button multi-screen option uh, if only I can find my remote what on your little TV yeah well it's yeah. not the TV it's the um, skybox isn't it <laughs> if I can find my sky buttons there they are so Hamilton's up to ninth. right so buttons way out in the head at the moment so, I'm not... so he's making fairly good progress there's only one retirement so far so there's still 19 cars and Hamilton's up to ninth. That's good. 
It shows how much money is in <clears throat> the the Far East, or not how much money, but how much they're moving into Formula One. So you've got the Force India car and the the Toyota, obviously an Eastern company, but they're they're sponsored by um, Air Asia. Yep. Ah, there we go. Patronus are they? They're a fuel company, aren't they? I can hear that. Good. Are you inside a car? Yep, inside the car, and you can turn off the um, commentary. One of the Williams, I believe it is. Is there a car in front of you? Red one? Yeah. Can't make out who it is. I think you're inside Mark Webber's car. The yellow helmet, yep, that's Webber. Because right in front of Mark Webber... Is, oh, so is, right at the back. <laughs> ...is uh, Force India, Adrian Sotil. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. But I'm looking at a completely different picture, so how would I know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at a Williams, I think. So it looks like a Ferrari in front of me, yeah. I was watching Rosberg behind a Raikkonen. God, they get close to that wall. So we've got Air Asia across the... Um, is this, is this, oh, it's changing. No, you, oh, you're in a Toyota. The Air Asia is Toyota. Yep. Now back in a Virgin, which... Uh, uh, you're getting all the in-car feeds because I'm inside a Virgin now. Right. So there must be one camera. Whose is that helmet? Um, it's gone off it now. <laughs> that must be... Um, well, he's not right way out in front, so that must be... Um, the uh, the brawn, which is Barrichello. Barrichello, yep. So Barrichello is a mainly white helmet with a grey. Yeah, that might. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing the external shot now. There's a Ferrari, a um, Williams, and then Barrick the the brawn. So Williams Barrichello's just gone past Jackson. the Ferrari. So that's Rosberg's just gone past Raikkonen. Right. So this digital thing is actually adding quite a considerable. Of course, you're watching this. Via standard analog television. Yeah. Oh, oh no. And there's the rest of his fin. Yeah. Oh no, right. no, it's damage to the Ferrari, not to the um, the brawn. No, it looks like he's lost his front. No, because that was hanging doesn't... down before, just like that before. That's the bit when they said you've added um, flap. That's purely for the fact that half his flap was hanging. Now, the Ferrari there now. You've got to look at the back of the Ferrari. I think there's damage to that. But the front of that Ferrari looks skewed. The wing on the left. And, and no, it's just the position of the camera because you can see yeah, more yeah. of the, uh, the left-hand uh, mirror. Uh, uh, you watch. Well, I'm watching this from the in-car view. I'm not, oh, right. uh, oh no, it was something off the brawn. It was white, but it doesn't look... That's why I thought it, was, it looked white. Yeah, it was, yeah. Or was that the rest of his front or another? It must have been another part of the front. He's driving it? very aggressively to have done this again, isn't he? Yeah. There's no easy. Well, I suppose he's pissed to... that they've been so dominant a weekend. Yeah. He's in wherever he is, he's sort of down in sixth. But that Ferrari's coming into the pits. But then they've done ten laps and they're on the super softs. So how long does the super soft super tire soft last? Tire last. No, no, they're doing the the. Um, Regular sticks and fuel in, no matter why you're coming to stop. They really need to get rid of the fuel stops. <laughs> no, seriously. Well, once they once they become solar powered, then we will be. No, <laughs> they used to go back to what they did years and years ago and have a tank that lasts the race. Yeah. Because my my biggest problem with Formula One at the moment, and hopefully some of the changes they've made will change all this, but um, biggest problem is the fact that there is still overtaking, but it's done while the cars are sitting still. They the time pit stops and, uh, and the amount of fuel put in, and you gain places by going into the pits. Right, and, but and if out, it out. wasn't for the pit stops, then somebody like like we've got now, Button is way ahead. But if he pulls into the pits, then it pulls the team you up. You have to go in for tyres. Yeah, true, true. But, but not for fuel. The the fuel is too big a variable for me, and it takes too long. You can you can be in new set of tyres and out in a relatively short space of time. But there's always sort of five, six, seven seconds more of a pit stop because they're pumping in a lot of fuel. 
But the, the, the good thing, I think, with the, the fuel is because you can have different strategies. And like I say, the, the, the first position may well be on one, on one strategy, second position's on a, another it's strategy. To act as a blocker for the first guy. Uh, exactly. It's not that they're legally allowed to do that, of course, but they still do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, 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 I still feel that it's um, detrimental that the cars... Oh, Hamilton's just come into the pits. Um, it's detrimental that... Um, if you want to gain a place, the only way you should be able to gain a place is by physically, is physically overtaking taking that. Yeah, that's taking that. a while. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a long Well, one. I think they've put the mediums on, so maybe they're going for a longer stint and then probably a short splash and dash at the end of the race. Maybe now, um, I guess the idea with them was uh, with McLaren, Hamilton was super soft tyres, try and gain as many places as you can start in the first with. Yep. on a light fuel load. Yeah then um, we'll tank you up, put you on the mediums, and you stay out there for a while, while yep. everybody else then comes into the pits and see where it where it pushes us up. Yep, yep. Because like they've been saying all weekend, it's damage limitation for them this weekend. Yes. And maybe for the next two or three Grand Prix till they get the car sorted out. Yep, yep. Well, getting up to eighth position is uh, no no mean feat from uh, the very back 20th, of the grid. Well, no, he was 18th. Right? He was 18th, yeah. Because yep. the um, Toy Toyotas were 19th. 20th. So that's 10 places in 15 laps, 14, no, 12 yeah. laps. So that's not a bad rate, actually. Although you have one retirement. And I'm trying to learn how to spot the cars by... Um, by helmets and livery and stuff. Livery, yeah. And, of course, as it's the start of a new season, slightly changed um, sponsors. and yeah. This that and the other, and drivers have changed teams. Well, the sponsors. It's Robert Kubica. The so Robert Kubica is mostly red. Sponsors can change through the season as well, which is going to confuse us. Yeah, I, I suspect there might be more sponsors added to the Braun car as the season goes. <laughs> <through. laughs> Do you think so? Well, I mean, up until the weekend, the uh, beginning of this, <laughs> they had this weekend. They only had the um, the tires. The, is that the Bridgestone logo? I believe front? so. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. I couldn't make my mind out whether that was a Bridgestone logo or the uh, Braun logo, because it's just a big letter B, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, how far ahead is he? Uh, I was wondering the same thing. 42. No, no, sorry. My mistake. That's um, 0.423 of the... seconds faster in, over the lap. So, um, Jensen Button's put his foot down, and he's now pulling away from Vettel. Yep. Realised he was catching him up. Interesting. It's not a massive gap, actually. It looks Looking like it's at a... that, there's only a few seconds gap. It looks like there's quite a big gap again between second and third. Third, yeah. Paragello's just having a really bad day, isn't he? Isn't he just? But to be fair, a lot of it's his own fault. He's yeah. been driving very, very aggressively. Had that first first corner collision. Which Doesn't is particularly fault. want to play second second fiddle to Bunce. To, to to button. Button. No. I mean, that first corner collision was his own fault. Uh, overtaking the, or the attempt to overtake the Ferrari, that was his fault. Because he went for a gap that really wasn't, wasn't there. there. Yeah. What happened on the grid was that um, driver error, or uh... I think that was probably a clutch slip. Is because um, they have like an auto clutch to start with, don't yep. they? Yeah. Um, and it l- looked like that didn't work very well because he's never normally that bad at pulling off. So it's still Button and Vettel first and second, with Nicky Rosberg in third. Yeah, Barrichello in fourth, Nakajima in fifth. That's quite good. Um, Nelson P.K. Jr. in sixth. The new guy, um, I think it's an S, so he must be a Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian Buimi in the Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso in seventh. That's amazing. Uh, Force India, Fisichella in eighth. Alonso in ninth. Glock in twelfth. I've got a funny story about Glock in a minute. <laughs> uh, Felipe Massa in eleventh. Kubica in twelfth. Raikkonen in thirteenth. Truly in 14th. Hamilton, because of his pit stop, has dropped down to 15th. You've got Bordeaux in 16th. Heidfeld in 17th. Sutil in 18th. And Mark Webber last. With Heike Kovalainen on. retired. Who's coming now? Vittel's come in now. Yep. The second um, season's coming. So this is on lap. Um, it's not lap 42. That's 42. 15. Remaining. So that's lap 15. Yeah. 16. And that's a. 11.6 second pit stop. So yeah, Timo Glock. Who's behind? My sister but, follows Formula 1 as well. Yeah. And at the start of last season, she thought that um, there was a new team in Formula 1 called 
O'Glock because the uh, commentators kept going, and Team O'Glock is coming up. <laughs> Sounds like an Irish team to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has Eddie Jordan got a new team? <laughs> It's Timo Glock. <laughs> yeah, she asked me who the other driver for Timo Glock was. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> Isn't that the guy that does the um, how to look good naked thing? That's Gok Wang. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so where's Vitelli coming out? Come on. Uh, he's, dun, 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 dun. he's not still second. That can't be. Surely he wasn't that far ahead. No, that's not, that's not right. Although it, that seems to have just updated and it's still showing him in as second. Second, yeah. So he must have been a hell of a way ahead of Barrichello to come out in second. Yeah, of course, that's going to be the problem, isn't it? If um, the Braun does win the Grand Prix, um, regardless of what the stewards had said over the weekend, m- all the other teams are still going to appeal. Oh, who's that? Is that's it, so, so. Renault. Is it Renault? Phillips, I think that's Nakajima. Renault. Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Nakajima. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's Williams. Uh, Williams, yeah. So that's from fourth position. What did he do wrong? Well, clearly a crap up, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will you run out in front of a Formula One car just to pick up the bits of your own? Don't Maybe think so. Yeah. <laughs> Although, if you're going to run out of, in front of a car that's um, going fast, it better be a fast car. Yes. Uh, we've seen, oh, we've seen a replay. Oh, he just okay. lost it on oh, a corner. Yeah. Lost it coming out of the corner. It looked like he went over a sort of a bumpy part of the track and his car just went nuts. <laughs> uh, they're changing the uh, nose cone on. Barrichello, uh, so he's going to... Ah, uh, that's why he's probably still in second. 18, 19, 20 seconds. 20, 21.2 second pit stop. That's a long one. Ooh, that was close. Who's just pulled out in front of Barrichello? One of the Red Bulls. Well, he's got mediums on, so, I mean, he could probably go almost to the end of the race with that. I'm not sure how the fuel works. Yeah, buttons but they, have, they put a lot of fuel in. So what have they done? They, have they just got yellow flags out at the moment, or...? They may have, yeah, because of the crash. Oh, yeah. Safety car's just come out by the sound of that. No, there is no safety car. Yeah, here it comes. It's coming out. Ah. So the the caption's just come up. They've put about 40 laps worth of fuel in Button's car. And there's only... What's the safety doing? There's um, only 40 laps left to go. So they've... um, Looks like that they've filled Button up to go to the end of the race. Whether he'll have to come in for a quick uh, change of tyres is on the mediums. So I don't know how long those mediums will last. But um, well, this is going to close the field up. So that's to clear the wreckage from Nakajima's accident, yep. isn't yep. it? I've, I've not been able to find a definitive list of what the rules are. Oh, the rules, yeah. What do you do in the pits there? Uh, physical oh, we just overshot, overshot the... Uh, Who was that? Uh, one of the Force India cars. I think it was Fisichella. What's he doing? Well, they couldn't have been a lap behind this safety car, could they? Why are they all just driving straight past the safety car? Because the safety car's waving them past. Ah, Lapped runners are allowed to unlap themselves. Oh, so they've got they can keep racing until the uh, leader catches up until the leader catches up with the safety car. Yeah, that's why that's why they're being allowed to go by. And Button's not realizing this and he slowed down waiting for the safety car to come around. Well, he's got no interest in being right up the uh, the the bumper of the safety car, really. But either way, if he's slowing down, then the other cars are still catching catching up. up, Yeah, true. Here he comes. Either way, he loses the uh. He's lost his advantage, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah. Should make an interesting restart. It, it's, yeah, it it's, makes it a bit more exciting. <laughs> Twitter comment, Fissy Pitting failed. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's complaining about the uh, the safety car on Twitter. Uh, would love to send my resume somewhere for the safety car driver. <laughs> yeah, because they're not picking up why, why he's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just watching the safety car with the two cars behind it weaving backwards and forwards. Of course, we're going slow in that. The, the brakes are losing heat and tyres yep. are losing heat, aren't they? But those that are catching up are still sort of, if not race speed, they're still sort of... They're not losing as much as the uh, the guys that of are course, right behind the car. The other thing is most of these guys have come in and pit, so that's possibly opened up the gap even further. But I'm not seeing anybody else. Where are they? No, there they are. <laughs> Long way away, yeah. There's a whole bunch of them, but they seem to be miles away from from uh, Button. May have lost a bit from the rear. What are they talking about there? I don't know. Well, no um, stewards no, review. Go, race came control up. lapped cars may now overtake, which is something they couldn't do under the safety car last year. Yeah, that's that's, that's a difference. A, a difference. I knew there was a difference with the rules of the safety car. Just didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, and he actually came off the the um, 
main part of the track onto one of the little runoff areas yeah. and it just spun. I think he, he went over one of the raised curbs and I think that unbalanced his car by the look of yep. it because there didn't yep. seem to be anything else, did it? It's only from, from the angle of the car that, that you could see in the camera, nothing came off or broke. No. But obviously you don't not know that if that you, was I'll something say not that you'd rear. see a suspension. You wouldn't see a, a suspension failure. No, that's it. All, all the others are catching up now. So are we um, going to be covering oh. the are we going to be covering the boat race this afternoon as well? Is it the Oxford Cambridge this afternoon? <laughs> You're listening to the Dundown Life Boat Race. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I think not. I didn't realise that was this weekend. So did you know that they're talking about um, possibly adding, if if only for a, one, uh, a one-off event, but possibly adding a, a, a new street circuit Grand Prix? In Rome. In, in Italy, yeah, the Rome yep. Grand Prix. Yep, yep. Uh, they had um, dabbled with the idea of Venice, but apparently that was... Uh, <laughs> could be problematic. Wet weather tyres just wouldn't cut it. <laughs> yeah, they're all bunched up now. Yeah, he's done all that work, but and now we're pretty much back to a rolling start of the yeah. starting the Grand Prix, and it's a rolling start. Yeah, but the um, being so close now and all together still... I think the advantage that the other cars had of being still sort of warm from the high speed, uh, that's very quickly dropping off, yeah. It still does give the uh, likes for Hamilton to try and improve his position a bit. Where is he now then? He's still well, down in... No, he's not in 15th, 12th. Yeah, yeah then working in the petrol station, I actually had somebody the other day in full McLaren's racing gear um, come into the garage and uh, I said so. I said to him, so what's this about you not having a contender for this uh, this first race? And he said, yeah, we're, we're all pretty miserable. And uh, he was just getting ready to get on the plane to go out to Australia. Oh, really? A friend of mine makes the um, camshafts. Oh, right. For the, for the McLaren. Ah. Uh, one of our scout leaders. I think it's the camshafts he makes. He's a sort of metal engineer type bloke, and he, he works for... I think it's Ilmore he works for, and they build the engine under contract for Mercedes, yeah. I believe. It's a Mercedes engine, but built by Ilmore, if that makes sense. Yep, yep. Um, and he builds parts for that engine. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think um, involvement of Virgin with Formula One is well overdue, and that I'm really happy to see that. I must admit, it does surprise me that it's taken them this long to uh, get their name on it. Maybe being the, the savvy business many years, maybe the um, the costs or the charges from the company to sponsor a car has been dramatically reduced because of the uh, yeah. economic situation. So he's decided it's now a, a, a an Better opportune time. To do time. It. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the other thing that he, he said that um, he didn't like how you have to have, how expensive it was to even start a team in mm. Formula One. He also didn't like that there, there didn't seem to be much... Um, Incentive to, to look into alternative fuels, whereas yeah. now um, Braun apparently are looking at alternative fuels, and the price oh. of starting a team has come down. So that's what's um, well. They're looking next year to put a price cap of thirty million uh, to to run a team for a year, right? Which is a big difference. I mean, some of the smaller teams, the Force Indias and the 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 um, the Salbers of the world, yeah, they they probably do spend around thirty million if that much whereas ferrari for example last year spent around 400 million oh goodness which is as you can understand then why ferrari are always at the top and yeah of course india aren't yeah i mean money isn't everything but if you've got that sort of money to throw around you can get the best designers and the best technical people and pay for the best drivers yeah yeah whatever so it does give you a massive advantage but they're looking next year to putting. Um, it's they're calling it a price cap, but there are get outs. I, th- I believe it's going to be something along the lines that if you stay within the thirty million budget, that you're allowed to do X amount of extra testing, and if you choose to spend over that budget, you're limited to the amount of testing you can do. All oh, right. Such as now, there's no um, in-season testing other than the practice sessions of a race weekend, which is what's causing um, McLaren so much trouble. Yeah. Yeah, because they know they've got a dog of a car. They 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 know they need to make some changes, but whatever changes they make, they cannot test out 
until, until the next until practice, the next session, practice of session of the next Grand Prix. Ooh, ouch. Uh, but then everybody's got the same disadvantage. Got, which, the, which they, is, they have there. But somebody, somebody like Button, who's got it right now, the Braun team, who've got it right, Yeah. they don't need to test anything to change anything. Oh, there's a oh. force. No, it's uh, Williams going Rainer. off. Yeah. Oh, even... right off. Oh, oh that's okay. got to be annoying. I don't think they touched. Which which really which uh, Renault was it? I thought I heard them mention PK. So obviously the race yeah, was restarted while like, we were talking. <laughs> it did look like it was in the middle there. So yeah, it could have been PK. So is that going to bring the safety car back out? Well, no, because he was well off into the um, sand trap, wasn't he? Hamilton's Battle looking. Trap. Hamilton's looking to go around the outside. And and he's done it. Has he got think, it? Yes. Yes. Yep. So just taking Timo Glock. Well, did he take eleven or did he take tenth? Because if he eleventh, if he took eleventh, then it was um, Alonso that came off. Oh really? No, it wasn't Alonso. No, it, no, there's Alonso behind him. So if it was PK that came off, then that wasn't eleventh because PK was up in seventh. Yeah. So it must have been. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at the. Um, well, no, the, the the commentary said the same. Um, but they're probably looking at the same list as I have. And uh, exactly. About PK coming PK off. Coming off. So yellow he's now up to 10. Why are the yellow flags out? Because there's some damage on the track from PK's car, I think. Yeah, because two Force Indias are next to each other, which is not what this is, this is showing here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was pushed out by the Sauber. Yeah. He never touched him, though. Did he not? No, he moved out of the way. I think he panicked, <laughs> to be honest. No, he never touched him. Button's pulling away again. Yeah. There you go. It's updated. Yeah, Hamilton's now in 10th because uh, PK has retired. It's still showing PK. Oh, it. Yeah. Okay. Yours, yours refreshed a little quicker than mine did. <laughs> so we've now got 17 cars left. So that's three re- retirees after just under half race distance. Some of these um, Asian races can be a battle of attrition because the, the temperatures just get too much for some of the cars, aren't they? Yeah. It's not yeah. not being the case with this one, mind you. But no, because again they've done it later on big, in the day. Yeah. So the that's a good point. Yeah. Is there going to be a night? race again this year do I we? don't know um, there was one of the Asian countries not the one that did the night race last year they've cancelled their intention to do a night race they're going to do an evening race oh, right. um, well they were going to do it but I guess they're struggling for money or something because they've decided not to because of the expense of floodlighting the yep. entire track yeah you imagine it, that is going to be a fair cost isn't it to be fair it's not Exactly, a an environmentally well, it's not an environmentally friendly sport in general, but to add the uh, the idea of having to flood lit the entire track isn't really responsible. But then, not really. I thought it made for a very interesting race last year. I actually missed it. It was one of the races that I missed. It, it's very different to watch because um, off of the track you don't see anything. It makes it much more like a, like the old computer games because you lose a lot of the detail. <laughs> you don't see the um, the grandstands. You don't see um, a lot of the off-track detail. I can remember playing a Formula One game on my old Atari ST. I don't think it even had barriers on the side of the road. Well, it's the, the red and white barriers was all around, wasn't it? Yeah. There were no buildings, nothing. It no was billboards. <laughs> No, you could not even the front of the car. The bottom third of the screen was um, a dashboard, ve- very cartoony picture of a steering wheel and yep. the dashboard, and then it was just pure, very simple coloured vector graphics for the uh, the track itself. And like you say, the whole thing was just um, black and white barrier boards around the track. There was no external scenery or anything. No. None of the cars had livery. They were just in. So Ferrari was red. That's it. Um, um, what would have been Benetton was just red and green, and that was it. I've not seen any of the. Um, I've not seen any of the 21st century racing games. Well, I'll bring my PlayStation 2 down next weekend because I've got Formula One <laughs> 2007. So where is Hamilton now? Hamilton's in tenth minute. Tenth. Uh, second and a half behind Rosberg in ninth. Yeah, I have to say, for all these new regulations, there's not been much overtaking. Not that they've shown us, anyway. Oh, so not that they've shown us. Uh, I think, it, 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 as is unfortunately becoming typical, you get the the teams that have got everything right that just disappear off into the into the um, distance. And in this case, it's um, Braun. Keep an eye on the Ferrari. Oh, PK Junior tells the Renault team his brakes just went crazy. Ah. So that might be why he came off. If he was under braking as he was coming around that corner and they brakes locked up or something, then that's going to put him into a spin, isn't it? 
You know what has done it? It's all these computer-controlled systems, and he's got his mobile phone in his pocket. <laughs> Does he have cares? Does the Renault uh, have cares? See, that's, I, I know that Renault are using cares, but I'm not sure if they've got one driver using it and one driver not. Because I wonder if that's caused any issue. Possibly. If, he, if his brakes just went crazy. Kurs is the new brake system, isn't it? Yep. Well, uh, the, it, sorry, it works you, from it, yes. It's a new system from the brakes, so there obviously must be something inside the wheel that generates the electricity to charge the Kurs yep. system up. Yeah. Um, could that have malfunctioned? Eddie Jordan is not a big fan of the Kurs system. No, I've, <laughs> I think anything new, though, tends to be a bit, um, bit hated to start with, isn't it? Yeah, but they they push how Formula One is is a way of developing um, devices and, and systems for the road cars, um, and, and they, they've got to use stuff like that, no matter how much it's it's hated. Yeah, I mean, anti-locking brakes, power steering, all of that came from, if not directly Formula One, but certainly from the motor racing industry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody says, "Oh, it all come from Formula One," but did it? No. Were Formula One the first race cars to have power steering and anti-locking brakes? I very much doubt it. Yeah, so Melbourne are 12 hours behind. Um, no, it's 5 to 6 in the evening. Oh, is that what you just said? Yeah. Sorry. And it is now 5 to 8, so they're 10 hours behind. 10 hours, yeah. Oh, now Jensen Button's doomed. Why? The BBC broadcast has just said how much of a walk home this is going to be for him now. <laughs> That's it. He's going to run out of fuel on the last corner. <laughs> and have the entire team, and the entire pack come past. That's the whole curse of Murray Walker, isn't it? Oh, wasn't it just? <laughs> Surely nothing can stop him now. Oh, wait, he's oh, he's got off. <laughs> <laughs> One of the classics of Murray is uh, from a, a rally, not a, a Formula One. And there's an in-car shot uh, of the, the rally driver. And he's driving along and there's mud going everywhere. It's raining and the windscreen wipers are going 10 to the dozen. And, he's saying, and you can see just how effective these windscreen wipers are as the car drives into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently the, the diffuser argument, um, there's going to be an appeal. So it's still quite possible that they... This is what I was saying earlier before the safety car came out, yeah. Yes. Even if even if Button does win, you you it is definitely going to go to an appeal. Yep, they've already appealed, haven't they? Yes, yep. And the date's set for, I think, after the next race. After yeah. the next race. So this race and next race, any results are provisional. Yep. But the fact that the race officials, stewards, and that have have already approved them, uh, causing the appeal, that there there's obviously makes the appeal victory less likely I would think actually I just I was just looking through the notes of what I made during the qualifying we've not seen many of these in car shots with the um, speedometer and the the rev counter is that only during the qualifying that they do that the what sorry you you've, the, the speedometer and the rev counter and all that sort of thing no we've not seen many of them have we I'm thinking, do you normally see that in the race at all? Yes. Or is that, or is that just a qualifying thing? Because yeah, used to. Because certainly what we saw during the qualifying was was all that. And they also had a little bar which had got the Kurs energy on it. That was it. Um, they, they have said that there were the, there's supposed to be some sort of telemetry coming through to them that shows when and where and how much Kurs the drivers used. are using the Kurs. And we've not seen them. Cause that, so whether, that, whether the feed has gone... Because that's not... Um, BBC is it? They can only display what they're being fed. Fed from the the local producers, yeah. So if the the, the the producers have a problem with their feed, then the BBC aren't going to get it, are they? But um, the interesting thing is, we're talking about computer games. Yeah, this is where sort of it's going full circle because it's in your computer games that you get the little turbo boost button <laughs> that, yeah. that 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 um, slowly runs out over the uh, course of a lap. And that um, was what we were seeing in the qualifying. Every time they push the curves button, this little bar goes down a little bit. See his little nitro bar dropping. Uh, pretty <laughs> much, yeah. Well, it's essentially what it is, isn't it? It's a nitro boost. Uh, the, the same sort of idea. It just same gives them idea. a little bit of extra power. Yeah. Uh, but it's only of limited um, use. Yep. Yeah. But it's a rechargeable one. So he's still got button out. You know, Hamilton's just... up to ninth. We must have missed that. That's a good point, actually. It proves that it's... Um, very much an aerodynamic issue for the McLaren because they're running the same engine as the Braun. Yep, yep. Which is leading one of the Toyotas in, truly. 
I wish they'd put their names on the car somewhere. They, like they do, do with, but it's not... It's so small, you can't see it. Yeah. Because they do it with the um, touring cars, the rear quarter-light window. Is the name. It's got the name of the driver on it. So when you get the, these close shots, like we've got now of the Toyota, you can you know who it is. Yeah. For those of us that aren't clever enough to remember helmet <laughs> colours. <laughs> as I say, hopefully as we go through the season, we'll be able to... Um, Get the, the helmet colours memorised because those are the one things that don't one of the things that don't change. I mean, there's plenty of space on the helmet there. Oh, there we go. There's the uh, the oh, rev limiter, not... and there's oh, there the curves being yeah. used. Where the the empty thing underneath where it says brake. Oh then, oh then that's the the yellow there. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. So when he goes into a heavy brake, we should see that charging up. Should um, we? yeah, but that's limited to the amount of times that he can charge up throughout a lap. So is it? Yeah. Yep, I thought it was just you're, limited to the amount of times they use it. You're only allowed to use. You're only allowed to store a certain amount of the energy that's created under braking. Ah, I'm sure that's the first time that we saw that throughout the entire race. The the Kerr systems in the Williams was using a, a flywheel. Uh, apparently, most of the other Kerr systems are actually electrical, um, whereas the the Williams one is a is a, is a flywheel. Is it is more mechanical? Sim- yeah, more similar to what we saw at um, the Science Museum. Yeah. I've got to say, though, I was surprised how large the unit was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I assume that is the, 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 the storage pack, and there's something smaller within the wheels that causes the uh, the um, g- power the transfer, generation. Yeah, transfer the power, yeah. And that thing was essentially just the battery and the, the, the um, transmission of to power to the car yeah yeah how does do, do you know how it actually works so say it gives another 80 horsepower when it's pushed how does it do that uh, again further research is needed because if it's how do you transfer electrical energy energy to, into a get into what is essentially a combustion engine combustion engine yep yep does it is it power that drives a, a, a an additional motor a, a form of turbo engine. no idea well, no, turbos aren't in there, are they? Well, no, exactly. But, I mean, the only way you get more power out of an engine is more fuel or, or more air. Yeah. Well, more air, that's what a turbo does. But is it getting more power out of the engine, or is it but how a, does a, a it separate power out of an engine? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, or is it a separate engine, yeah. But even if it's a separate engine, how do you... Then combine that with... Combine the power, the power. yeah. yeah. Essentially then, then running two engines to drive one set of wheels. How yeah. do you do that? Yeah. So Button's 11 and a half seconds ahead of the fourth place. Uh, Raikkonen in the Ferrari. This is on lap 37. No, 37 to go, is it? No. No, no, after no 21 to go, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. the The TV feed shows you how many laps left. left. Right. The website feed tells you how many laps have gone. <laughs> On the live leaderboard, it says after thirty seven laps of fifty eight. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Hamilton's up to eighth now. So where where is he overtaking people, and why aren't we seeing well, this? Yeah, this is, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're not seeing this because he's not Australian, he's not, and he's not at the front. <laughs> you do tend to see that the. Um, but then he doesn't seem to the the producers don't seem to be uh, focusing on Weber very much because he's last. <laughs> <laughs> you do sometimes see this though, where the the producers in the country follow the drivers for that. Game. Yeah, I mean the German Grand Prix always used to um, hang follow over on to yeah. Well, both Schumachers. Obviously, they'd be covering Michael because he was generally at the front. <laughs> but <laughs> Germany was probably a very bad choice of example. <laughs> Yeah, there wasn't really much in between all of the qualifiers. Uh, it was like 0. 0.762 seconds between finishing on pole and being at the back. Yeah. So, you know, all this curve system and downforce and all that, and it, it's not as unbalanced as you no. think. Well, the thing is, the curves gives them more power, but it also increases the weight of the curve. Exactly, 30 kilograms apparently. Yeah, and they say something like, uh, what was it, a kilogram of fuel or 10 kilograms of fuel or something adds a tenth of a second to yep. your lap times. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got, if they're basically saying, <clears throat> excuse me, if they're basically saying saying it was um, one for one, well, a 30 kilogram curse system adds three tenths of a second to your lap times. Yeah, yeah. 
but are you gaining and, that back from exactly. the 80 horsepower that you're, yeah. you're you, I, I guess that would depend on uh, a per track basis on a per so, track basis and how well the Kerr system is working system works because there's going to be certain tracks that um, favour that extra boost to favour yeah. more power and there's other tracks say Monaco Monaco for instance not really an overtaking track no. so I would imagine that the power from the Kerrs is going to be used mostly coming out of corners, out of corners yep. to, to get the drive behind a car to overtake. Well, if your car, your car isn't, sorry, the track isn't an overtaking track, how much of an advantage is that going to give you while carrying an extra 30 kilograms of weight? Um, well, the, the fact that you're coming out of a lot of corners and wanting to make the most of the tiny little bits of straight that you've got, may well be but another the, use that occurs yeah but the the straights if you're sitting behind a car is it yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. enough to get you by because the the, um, the straights are short enough for you not to be able to get by them still yeah, true true Oh, finally, we're on Hamilton. Very little has actually been said about this new scoring system. Well, that's because it's not in, is it? Is it not? Oh, didn't you know? No. No, they've gone back on it. It's back to how it was last year. Ah. Reason being that a rule change after entry application window has been closed, that's for new teams joining and whatever, um, once that window has closed, any rule changes have to be unanimously agreed by ah. all the drivers. Ah. Um, the FOTA, the Formula One Team Association, which is basically the driver's union, they they appealed against the decision to make the rules change because it wasn't a unanimous. They weren't consulted. The they were consulted over the gold medal system. Yeah, and that wasn't a unanimous agreement. But the rules that were implemented were not the gold medal system. Right. So there was enough of a disagreement and and sort of difference of opinion that uh, the FIA ruled that it can't be used. Yeah, this season. Oh. Right. Highly likely to be in for next, next season. season. Yep. Because what can happen, you see, the Formula One governing body, body yep. they can make the change if it's before the window for applicants closes. Because then, basically, I suppose the logic goes that if you don't agree with it, you don't apply to be in the, in the first place. Yep. In the season. Yep. Once it's closed and they're all in, then you can't make any rule changes because that's not what we applied to join. Yeah, yep. yep. So this season, it's back to um, 12 points for a, a win and as, oh, as, as it has been sort of traditionally. Yep, yep. So, yeah, that's why you've not heard anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> they ain't doing it. <laughs> Vettel's lapping faster than Button. I oh, know. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yep. Yep, he's lapping faster than Button. So he's still catching him. But with 17 laps left... Yeah, five, almost five seconds difference. That's a lot to make up in 17 if, laps. If you're only lapping a couple of tenths faster, yeah, that's five laps a second, so that's 25 laps he'll need to catch him. Yeah. Which, yeah Here we go, watched. here's the Kers thing. Hamilton's Kers is half-charged. So it'd be nice to be able to choose to stay with Hamilton Yeah, and with this particular view. So now his Kers, he's used his Kers. Yep. There you go, coming off the start, the final corner into the start finish the start straight. Finish straight yep. he, he used his curse system. See, look, Hamilton's now in fifth. How did that happen? Yeah. Without anybody showing us. Yep, yep. The producers have obviously decided he's on the move and moved over to him on the camera. To follow him now, yeah. Bit late, mate. He's just gained in the last sort of four or five he's laps. Done. He's gained about he's six done places. Very well, exactly, yeah. And we missed every single one of them. <laughs> just come past Alonso and Kubica. Yeah. Ah, didn't did Alonso just do the, ah, the spin Alonso out? Alonso went in the pits, didn't he, or something? He, what, it looked like Alonso just did the spin out, didn't he? Yeah. But he's still right up behind uh, Rosberg. Yeah. So even if Alonso spun out, he's gained that sort of gap on the tarmac. Yeah. Yep. He physically closed the gap on the tarmac. And then comes Hamilton, and Hamilton comes into the pits, which is going to push him back down again. Yeah. So they put about forty. They said the last time he pitted it, he had about 40 laps worth of um, fuel, and he only had 40 laps to go. But they've obviously fueled back up while he pitted, which doesn't seem to make sense. Where has he come out? He's come out just in front of a Ferrari. So that would be Raikkonen, wouldn't it? Yeah, so the seventh. Seventh. Well, Massa's just gone into the wall. 
yeah, he, uh, it looks like he'd just overtaken Truly, because according to the um, BBC, Truly was in, ahead of Massa. Well, as it showed there, when Massa was spinning off, the Toyota was behind him because it was from the in-car of the Toyota. Yeah. So I suspect he's tried to overtake Truly and screwed it up. Screwed it, yeah. <laughs> uh, Raikkonen went in the pits as well. That's what confused it all. That's why right. I thought it was Raikkonen behind him. The uh, the website hadn't updated. It was Massa. So is this second and third here with... Uh, I believe... No, it can't be. Um, where's the other Braun? R- r- right behind. That's... that. that yeah, that's not Button. Yeah. That's not Button, is it? So it's Vettel and um, But that's a Red Bull, isn't it? Yeah, Barrichello. Um, sorry, uh, Vettel. Vettel. He's just oh, come out of the Barrichello must have... Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, we ought to turn the um, commentary off of the television because we were right. <laughs> it was it was Raikkonen that was mixing it up um, and then went into the wall. It wasn't Massa. I I just heard ah. them. I heard them say on the television that it was Massa. Massa, yeah. No, that, well, no, that was the. That's it. Yeah. Raikkonen goes into the pits for his third stop um, as he spun off. Yeah. yeah. That makes more sense. So that was part of the race that we were watching at the time. Yeah, that's why I was getting confused. And as they pulled away from it, then Raikkonen's gone into the wall. Yeah, he's Raikkonen's done a bit of damage. Got, they've got a trouble there, hasn't he? Yeah, they don't seem to be ready to pull him in and do some work. They look like they're ready to pull him in and keep him in. Yeah. And they've got no interest in running it for 12 laps just to finish. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Button and really, Braun really stuffed that up, didn't they? Seconds, or 13.2 seconds. So Button still comes out in first, despite the bad pit stop. And he's on the super softs. It's just a fairy tale for the Braun team, though, isn't it? Fantastic, isn't it? I mean, I mean three months ago, they didn't, they didn't exist. Yeah. Honda were out of Formula 1. There was no team. All of a sudden, Braun and we now know... Um, Virgin. Virgin. They've bought the team. They've got a team. And you thought, well, they're still going to be also rans because, well... It was Honda. It wasn't the best car in the world. They've had not had any summer testing because the team essentially hasn't existed. Yeah. And um, they've come here and they're winning. But but what Braun was saying on one of the programs I was watching earlier was that they were designing this car during last season. And they, oh, really? they, they knew that they didn't have a winning car last season. So they were putting a lot of their concentration onto what they're going to be racing this season. So they essentially gave up last year and thought started work early on the next season's car. Uh, exactly. And then Honda pulled out at the end of that, which was possibly the most poor Stupid timing thing. they could have done. <laughs> yeah. Let's invest millions of pounds into making a car next year and then not enter the exactly. uh, competition. Yeah. Yeah. Which kind of... It, it makes it interesting with regards to the rules because um, t- some of the uh, the lower teams here could be using their testing time for testing next year's cars. Next year's car, yeah. We know we're not competitive this year, so let's forget it and build a car for next year. For next year, yeah. 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 But then you, you, you run the risk there, though, of not knowing what the uh, the changes to the rules are going to be. Absolutely. Just so happened in this year that it's worked very much in the favour. And also, I guess, you lose the chance of... Um, Lose the possibility of losing sponsors. Yeah. Because who's going to sponsor a team that's consistently finishing last? Yeah. You've got to convince them that, no, 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 we've given up this year and working on next year's car. So, next great. year's car is going to be a winner. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's, that takes a bit of a leap of faith from a sponsor yeah. to, to um, do that, doesn't it? Which is why the Braun team started off with no sponsors. <laughs> now, it was Massa that retired. It wasn't Fisichella. Raikkonen. Uh, Raikkonen. Yeah, it was Massa. Okay. That was a very confusing few uh, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could really have done with your little map you were talking about there. Exactly. We? Hamilton's just looking at trying to gain another place past one of the uh, Williams. Uh, truly. No. Eh? Past a Williams? I'm guessing it was a Williams. No, it's a Toyota. Toyota, so. truly. See, I still haven't got the livery. I saw the Panasonic bit and thought, that's Williams. So in the eighth, he's, he's well into the points there. Is it down to the top ten that get points, or is it the top eight? Top eight, I believe. I think it's top ten, isn't it? Isn't it 12, 10, 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or is it 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Oh, I don't. So they've got nine laps to yeah. go. Yeah, and it's yeah. Button, Vettel, Barrichello, Kubica, Alonso, and Glock in the top six. Did you watch the um, qualifying yesterday? Yes. Did you hear Martin Brundle's? Is it? I can never remember. Is it Martin Brundle or Mark Blundell? It's Martin Brundle, isn't it? Yeah, Brundle. Um, 
Did you hear his description of how useful the wing mirrors are on a Formula One car? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're about as useful as an ashtray on a motorbike. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Essentially, you, you really cannot see anything. You can tell that there's a car behind you, but what car it is and who, who it is driving the car. You're relying, on, yeah, you're relying yeah. on the radio to tell you. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You, you very much rely on the radio there to tell you that it's either A, somebody coming to lap you let them by, or the, obviously the flag system as well. Um, or B, it's somebody chasing for petition. Or you can tell. Who, who's these two? Uh, it's a Toyota and a Red Bull. Red Bull. So that would be that would be. Um, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine, <laughs> because that says Toyota behind Williams. It might be Glock and Rosberg. Red, M- must have been a Williams. Unless it is William uh, Weber. Have they lapped him? Oh. Uh, that seemed to be a bit of a tussle for a uh, lapping position, and unlapping. Um, well, it was a Red Bull with red. It, yeah, it was. It was Weber. Because oh. the other Red Bull is blue. Yeah, it was Weber. It was obviously just a lapping manoeuvre. They did seem to be racing more than lapping. Yeah. yeah. So where's Barrichello now? He's in third. Where's he come out? So at least so far, and I'm tempting fate here, the... Um, the Braun gearbox has managed to hold out. Yep. Oh, that was close. Uh, deceptive, I think. One and a half seconds in s- between first and second in seven laps. That's a lot to make up. He's not going to do it. No. Again, at two tenths a lap, that still puts him a couple of tenths behind him. So he could finish technically right behind him. But like they always say, you, catching them is one thing. Getting by them is another, another entirely. Absolutely, yeah. That sun is so low in the sky now. I can see why they do it earlier than normally. Yeah. They're just saying that Kubica is um, lapping seven tenths of a lap faster than Vettel and three tenths of a second faster than Button. So he's closing up a lot. And uh, Vettel is catching Button as well. So I wonder if, because um, Button's on the soft tyres, the super soft tyres. So you've got to be saving those tyres. Or are they going off? Because mm. he's had them for seven laps or so. That was another interesting thing. The, the, the Red Bull doesn't have the controversial um, ducting on the back of the car. Oh, the diffuser. Diffuser, yep. So that's Barrichello up to fourth, is it? Yep. Or fifth? Fifth. Oh, no, it may well be fourth, because if that was Rosberg. Yeah, it was fourth. Yep, and Barrichello fourth. And yeah, it looks like the tyres are going. And he's pulling away now. Yeah. So Barrichello has actually still got a lot of grip behind him. Is he on the same tyres as Button? I, I believe so, but he came in later, didn't he? Yeah, five laps. Yeah, that's true. Truly started in the pit lane, and he's sitting in sixth. Sixth, yeah. So that's a bloody good drive. So Hamilton's looking at going past Rosberg. He's got a yep, problem, there hasn't we go. he? Yep. He's got a big problem, because he's just lost three places in yep. one lap. In one lap, yeah. Hamilton's up to seventh now, with four laps to go. That's yeah, not bad. Button's two and a half seconds ahead now of Vettel with four laps to go, so that's his race unless something really goes wrong, isn't uh, it? Kubits is steaming down on them. Yeah. I miss that. Who, they're, they're, they're asking you know, about, about the tyres, basically, and it's... it's. But whose car's working better than who, who else's? <laughs> See, I would have thought that it seems that Barrichello's car's working better than Buttons. Buttons. But they, they seem to be saying the opposite way around. The fact that Buttons out in front means that he's doing better, but but it, not seeing lap times and comparisons, really. I was uh, feeling that... Unless they're on about Kubica lapping. No, no, it no, says no, here, Kubica lapping faster than both Jensen, Button and Vettel. Oh, 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 oh. So that's second and third gone, is it? So we've just lost, lost Kubica, Vettel and Barrichello. I don't think Barrichello's gone, is he? Well, he spun, didn't he? Oh, dear. Oh, Barrichello's up into second. Yeah. Oh, Vettel with only three oh, wheels. No. What a shame. And the safety car will come out with three laps to go, so it's Button's race, isn't it? Yep. Oh, but behind because a safety they ca- car. they can't overtake. Yeah. Um, and it's going to take them three laps to three laps or so to um, clear that uh, um, debris. So that pretty much hands it to Button, doesn't it? In fact, the positions will probably remain as they are now. Yep. Hamilton's up in sixth, truly in fifth, Barrichello fourth. Um, well, it does say there, Kubica and Vettel. Actually, Barrichello, uh, Hamilton, 
might be in like fourth or something now because Vettel and Kibitza are both out, which will push Barrichello up to second, Truly to third, Hamilton to fourth. Yeah. They just never gave each other any room, did no, they? No, no. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It, it's very difficult to see who did that, that wrong. It's They're saying there that possibly <sighs> Vettel should have yielded because... Uh, because uh, he didn't have the grip. Uh, Vettel's Kibitz's <laughs> Kibitz. nose cone uh, was in front going into the corner, so he should have yielded. But it only just came... Yeah, yeah again, it happens so fast that yeah. you're looking for the apex of the corner, not realising that the guy's in front of you on your left-hand side because it's out of your peripheral vision. Yeah, and you're you're looking to go into you're, the corner you, on the right. Absolutely. Yeah. So although they're sort of the best drivers in the world, it's an easy mistake to make. Yeah. I'm sure I'd have made yeah. the same mistake <laughs> <laughs> had I got that far. <laughs> yeah, look at the mess of that. The interesting thing, though, that I saw there was that on the um, on Kubica's car, those two wheels came off and, and disappeared. You see the um, the red ball there, it's, it's trailing the, the spare wheel with it. Yeah. Um, tethered, and I thought that's the way they were supposed to be. So he could be in trouble. Actually, they've just said that the regulations state that if your car is damaged, you must pull over. Yeah, and he's still driving, he's still around driving the track, around, trying yeah. to get it back to the pits. Telling Rubens Barrichello to slow down. Here we go, in car shot. Oh, I don't know. You no, see, there, there was plenty of time him. there. Yeah, You've seen him from but you are ra- you're racing for position, and it it becomes a sort of battle of wheels. Yeah, yeah, that that's, much why. Is that's why. That's why. Uh, his tyre is still on because it, it um, when he crashed in, it, it crashed it into the barrier, into the car. Um, other crashes, are like um, Kibitz's when he goes off, um, it just knocks it clear. I mean, it's tethered down, but a 180 mile an hour crash or whatever yeah. speed they're going, it's going to pull those wheels off, no matter what it's tethered to. It's take, it took him a long enough time for, to stop. He shouldn't have. He should have stopped a lot earlier. Yeah, you've got the other Red Bull. In second, and <clears throat> he shouldn't be there because I would have yeah. meant he'd overtaken under the safety car. Kubitz according to this, according to the uh, the website layout, um, you've got Hamilton in third. You've got Button and Barrichello, the two Brawns, one and two. You've got Hamilton third. <clears throat> um, the two Toyotas, Truly and Glock, fourth and fifth. Yeah, the only trouble that um, Button had was that one long pit stop where they um, brought in the second. Ah. That Red Bull, yeah, that's Weber being lapped. Being lapped, he's, he's staying. Barrichello's not bothering to overtake him. So, so I, yeah, so I appreciate that they they don't um, allow overtaking, but you can you can lap people. Um, well, I guess no, because he that's an overtake to lap. But he so the the Weber, uh, Weber, Weber could over, he could overtake Button and unlap and, and go <laughs> unlap himself. Yeah, but for one lap, what's the point? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the safety car's going in for the final lap. Oh, God. So Barrichello, if he got the jump... No, yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, yeah, it's pulled in for the uh, so they can race over the line. Yeah, there you go. As they just said, you've got two drivers that didn't know they had a drive, didn't know they had a team, and they're finished first and second yep. in the Grand Prix. Yep. Fantastic. Well done. Good lads, well done. And Hamilton in fourth, that's that's pretty good. And granted, it wouldn't have been... started in 18th. And it wouldn't have been fourth had it not been for that little... No, it would have been sixth or something, wouldn't it? But I mean, still sick from yeah. 18. It's still not a bad, uh, bad run at all. So now all we've got to do is uh, wait for the appeal for the diffusers to to see if they right. So if, they, their if position. the well, if they don't use it, um, do Toyota have also got the diffusers, haven't they? Yeah. So um, so that would make Hamilton the winner. The winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be yeah. interesting. I I don't. Personally, I, I, I would think... imagine it would be on a car or a team per team basis. So while, for example, say bronze diffuser could be illegal, Toyotas may not, because it's all down to the yep. interpretation of the rules. They've done a, both done a similar thing, but it's highly unlikely they'll have done exactly, exactly the, the same, same. thing. Yeah, yeah. So they could rule that bronze is illegal, but Toyotas isn't, or the other way around. Yeah. Um, or they could rule that they're both illegal. Both illegal. Or both legal. I, I believe that what's happened with these diffusers is that most people have taken the um, the, the rules to be quite literal, and they've they've placed the diffusers right near the back of the car. Whereas what um, Braun have done, they've put the 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 um, diffuser closer to the back axle, but then they've oh. shaped the back of the car 
in such a way that it almost is a continuation yeah. of the diffuser. That's it. They, they've um, it's either that or they've put the diffuser at the back like everybody else, but shaped the back of the car to close the gap between where the diffuser is and the rear of the car. Right. Yeah. Something along those lines. But yeah, they basically merged it into the back um, undercarriage of the car, yep. which teams are saying is illegal because that effectively has extended the distance of the um, diffuser. The diffuser. Yep, yep. But I don't think the rules state what you can and can't do with the rear with of the, the car floor. Yep, yep. Which is, that's where the sort of grey area has come in. Um, the diffuser itself is exactly the same as everybody else's diffuser. It's just what they've done with the back of the car that's different. Yeah, it, it's the back of the car, not the floor of the car. So it's so, what's being yeah. done. It's what being it's being done behind the diffuser, is yeah. what's controversial. Controversial, yeah. Uh, which has essentially made the diffuser a lot longer than legally it's allowed to be. Yeah. But they're arguing, well, that's not a diffuser. That's the back of the car. You've never said anything about the back of the car. Yeah. And everybody the, the, else is arguing that point. The back of the car is still diffusing the uh, the airflow, so it's so therefore it's acting as part of the diffuser and, yep. and therefore illegal. Yep, yep. It, uh, personally, I think that the the stewards' um, original decision is likely to stand. I, I do because those stewards are stewards from the FIA that created the rules, and, so yep. they've looked at it and said, "No, that's legal." Yep. Um, I think a lot of it is bad grapes that the fact that um, the technical people, the aerodynamicists and whatever of the, all the other teams never thought of doing it. Yeah. They got the the teams that did do it, have got the jump on them and, and they're pissed off about it basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah more a case of, well, why the hell didn't we think of doing that? What can we do about <laughs> it? Let's call it, a, you know, let's argue. Well, exactly. You've you, you got to, um, got to be ready for trying. You can't Absolutely. Be. Bernie, a quick word, who's going to win the race? This one here. Yeah, you're just saying that because he's standing there. I never thought of you as a... I'm a politician. <laughs> I'll tell you what, do you want to have some money on him? You know you don't do it from that far back because, you know, he's ruined my race and he probably ruined his a bit. <laughs> <laughs>